Another day in sunny Florida. We are at the Central Florida Fairgrounds, which apparently on the weekends turns into a flea market. We're hanging out with my friend Drew, Profit Monsters. Gonna get out here and see what kind of cool stuff we can find to flip for a profit. Here we got the, the horse. Cash bags full of flush. Yeah, how much is this? One dollar for the Toy Story horse. I think I can do that. I think there's any Cutco in here. I have looked many a time and never found, but... This is Cutco, know. right? That's 100% Cutco. Original. Yeah. Original Cutco. Hey, excuse me. Can I get a with the tornadoes? Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Cool. Thank you. That's a, good to meet you. Absolutely. You guys want to go down the road? Uh, yeah. You lead, you lead the way. I don't know what we're doing. You're the prep. Oh, I see some golf clubs here. Hold on. We have those, or we've sold those before. This? No, this. Oh yeah, the steelheads. Yeah. Got a great big Bertha driver. Hello, how much are your clubs? Which one do you want? Uh, like maybe this one. Um, this this one. Maybe this one. Just this. So these four. Sixty. Sixty. Okay. Um, yeah, um, that's too much for me. I appreciate it. Oh, that she just told me the price. I wouldn't have even bothered her taking it out. What'd you get, Drew? Uh, I got two pairs of New Balance 990s. Okay. Pretty good condition, same size, size 13, so good men's size. What'd you pay? $15 each. That's pretty good. She wanted 60 for the golf club, so I'm like, yeah. they're like, I'd be lucky to get 60 total on eBay after fees. Stitch here. Got a couple little spots on him. But... Oh, he's There's a Build-A-Bear. Build Sir, how much for this one? Uh, $3. $3. Got yeah, a Bucky's bag. That's not really cool. There's a Columbia on it. Yeah. Columbia, that's nice. It's like a waterproof material. Yeah. It's like a waterproof material. Yeah. It's cool. It's got a backpack strap. Yeah. I've seen like bike racks and stuff, but not bags. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. If it's. How are you doing? Oh, hey, what do you have on your bags over here? Like friends have different bikes. Friends have bags. Yeah. Okay, so the Bucky's. Like, like um, Bucky's will be ten on this one. Oh, just kind of ten on that one. Like, like this one will be twenty-five. Depends on the brand. Depends on the. Bag. Okay, this one, the uh, Osprey. Five D twenty on this. Let me make sure this thing works. I don't think the handle works on this one. At least not all the way. So he said. Uh, 10 on this and three for this. So you do like 10 for both? No, no, no. Because they're, 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 that's normally five. But, you know, I already cut the price on those. You know, I, I, I don't do all the bargaining. I, I give you a real good price up front. Um, what do you think? 10 for this? Yeah, we have to clean the bottom. Hmm? Oh, we have to clean the bottom, but that's okay. Let's yeah. pick more stuff and we'll do a good price for you. Okay. Okay. Um, Bucky's hat. What are you selling us? Ten. They're viral five. Yeah, ten on those. Yeah, that's good. Okay. How much for that? Okay, you, you, you buy stuff like three dollars on this. So we're at twenty-six. Twenty-six. <laughs> All right. Do you have twenty-six dollars? Yes. Well, I have twenty-five. I think. Would you take twenty-five? Okay. I'm reasonable. I appreciate that. I'm gonna go to the car to put this skateboard away. Do you want me to just put the Bucky's bag in my car too? So you don't have to hold it? Uh, no, I'll just, I'll put it in here. Here you go. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Bucky's bag and a Bucky's hat. We're, we're set. Seven Bucky's. Did you guys stop at Bucky's on the way here? No, no. we will on the way home though. <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw that, but Haley got these for 10 bucks. These Vibram Five Fingers, like high top. I don't know what material that is, but it's interesting. Love this. Oh yeah. I'll you What you got on the mug? Bill, how much you buy? Seven. Seven. It's a 
What do you have on your uh, your Star Wars stretch, guys? There's six. Six each? Would you do 20 for four of them? Five, a dollar off if we get four. Yeah. Just, yeah? Okay. okay. I'll do that then. You have $20 for Yes. Me. Thank you for the um, These are good. I don't know. I don't care if like, you can do black or refill, whatever yeah. they do. But they're good. They're good. Yeah. That's interesting. We do a lot of Star Wars stuff. I've never seen the Stretch oh. Armstrong ones. Okay. Turns out some of these stretchy Star Wars figures can sell for upwards of 30, even $40 plus shipping. So $5 a piece was a great deal. And speaking of great deals, I finally bit the bullet and got a Costco membership. I've been in here a couple times in the past, but the deals you can find in here are absolutely crazy. Look at this deal, folks. We got a 12 ounce bag of steak strips, beef jerky for $10.99. If you go to like Publix or a gas station, you're gonna be paying $10.99 for like a three ounce bag. Okay, I made sort of an impulse purchase. They had this really cool like floor lamp over there, but there was none on the shelf. It was just like a display piece. So I asked an employee about it and they're like, I guess you could just have that one if we don't have any on the shelf. So a bunch of people like got on walkie talkies and called everybody and then they're like, yeah, you can just have that one. So I haven't talked to Haley about this. It's $89, but I do really like it and I think she will too. So. Let's see if I made a bad decision or if Haley will <laughs> agree with me that this is a cool lamp that we should get. So, so far I've picked up a couple of really good deals. This was like $6.97 for a 24 pack of LaCroix. I think this was $6.97 as well. I just thought that was kind of neat. Double pack of peanut butter for like $7, I think. And then the box of 24 golf balls, I think it was like $25.97, just a little bit more than a dollar per ball. Crazy deal, but this is the real reason. I've come to Costco today. The Harry's Winston Razor set for only $19.99. Guys, this is the craziest deal Harry's has done in a while. Back at the flip house, Haley's been painting cabinets in there. We don't wanna show you the cabinets just yet, but I do wanna show you something that I bought at Costco without your permission. Uh, okay. But uh, we'll see. Okay, so close your eyes. Wait, I gotta close my eyes? Close your eyes, just for a minute. But I gotta get down the steps. Just close, I gotta just, I kinda set it up behind the car if you can that okay um i'm not looking i just look, i'm looking down yeah just look down okay where am i going uh i guess you can open your eyes it's a cool lamp for the living room we have the corner that had the plant and we were looking for something else it was a last this is pretty cool i was expecting like a inflatable monster or something. <laughs> <laughs> something just like crazy I thought it was cool. Oh, yeah. Pretty, I like that. I like we have that. the corner living room where there's nothing really there. It's a three-way lamp, so you can turn on one bulb at a time. We need a lamp. We have no lamps in our and house. And no lamps in our house. It was $90, and it was the last one they had. Okay. Okay. So I, I approve. All right. It's better than an inflatable box. <laughs> All right. So again, in this Harry set, you get one chrome handle, 13 five blade cartridges, and one travel blade cover. As I was looking at the other razors Costco had to offer, not only were these the highest quality razors, but they were also the most affordable. There was other packs from different brands that had 15 cartridges for $25. There's actually one that had like 30 cartridges, but it was like $55. So this is definitely the best bang for your buck. I do really like on the handle how it has this like rubberized portion on the front and back. So it helps like stay in your hand as you're getting in all the nooks and crannies. And of course the five high quality German made blades makes it super easy as well. And just in case you're somebody that is not interested in removing any of their body hair, I would still recommend picking one of these up. It's just such a good deal and they make great gifts for people as well. I actually purchased three extras. I'm gonna be giving these away to one of you guys, or three of you guys technically in today's video. Just be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video and comment anything you want down below. I'll go through in a couple days and pick three winners to send these to free of charge. Again, this deal is exclusively at Costco. So if you're ne next time you're at Costco, be sure to head over there and pick one up. Thank you guys for listening to this. Thanks to Harry's for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back to it. Oh yeah. Wow. Okay, let's look. It's on. Yeah, we just, Big Bill, Big Bill bought the last set of these. What did you say, the like, original set is six? Yeah. And they got these Indiana glass chicken dishes. Yeah. He's got a good selection of glass, so I'm sure he's gonna want like he might want 50 bucks for the set. Yeah. Is this your stuff, sir? What's that? Is this your stuff? Yeah. What you got, what got on this set of six glasses here? Uh, ten dollars. Ten dollars for the set? Yeah, ten dollars for the set. Okay, I'll do that. What do you want for the two roosters here? Um, ten dollars a piece. Ten dollars a piece. 
Look at these little pigeons. Look at these little, look at these little pigeons. What's that? That one? Uh, $5. Ah, uh, they're metal. What's got kind of little pigeons here? There's two of them. Oh, uh, those are brass. I'll do $10 for both of them. They're brass. Okay. I'll brass do... is like three eighty a pound right now. So. Yeah, yeah, these are cool. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, that's, that's fair. I wish I could do better, but... All right. Thank you, sir. Yeah. We appreciate you. All right. Oh, you're gonna take the two. Uh, yeah, we're gonna take the two pigeons. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Here, you wanna wrap them up a little bit? Here. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay, Thanks, man. We appreciate you. All right. Thank you, man. You have a great day. You too. You got it. You got it. Are those hookers? There's another pair right there. Pink pair. How much are these? No, these are Clifton 2. Just the paint's coming off. Got a good tread though. These are cool, they kind of remind me of like Nickelodeon or something. Yeah, I was wondering. Five room cells. I saw those. What do you want for these? What did they say? Tongue Toe Project? 15. 15. 15. Would you do 20 for both of those? Yes. Yeah? Okay. I'll do that. There you go. Thank you. Drew has been over there. Uh, multiple times trying to buy jackets off of people's backs. This is the third time, and I think he's gone over three today. He picked a terrible day to do it because it's freezing outside. Nobody wants to give Nobody up their jackets. To... <laughs> like, Drew, you need to have another jacket ready. He is talking to this guy for kind of a long time, though. Maybe he's getting somewhere. Did he turn you down? Yeah. Oh, that is a cool one. I asked him how much he wanted. He said probably 25, 30 bucks. I said, I'd have to give you 30 bucks. But he said he wants to keep it, so oh. I respect it. That'd be a good price. Drew found this pair of white Nike shocks on this lady's table for $30. She wouldn't come down off that price, but he bought them anyway, and he's actually already sold them over on Poshmark for $120. So I think he had them listed for $150 and then accepted an offer. So really nice deal there. What you got on this? Right up. Huh? Thanks, sir. Oh, I didn't see that one. I think this one's in good shape. Coach Oh, yeah, we've sold one of those before. Every time we buy coach bags at the flea market, we always get comments from people asking us how we know if these bags are truly authentic. And we've learned a lot from watching videos from our friend Rachel Strickland over on our YouTube channel. She is probably the most knowledgeable person I know personally when it comes to coach bags. So I would highly recommend checking out her channel and watching those videos. Here you go on these two. Fifteen for both? Yeah. yeah, I'll do that. Yeah. Just give me the five that I already gave you back. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, sir. Yep. Yeah. Have a good one. You can put it in my bag. I'm not carrying anything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you get twenty dollars for three coach bags. Awesome. Haley, can I have twenty-five dollars, please? I have twenties. I think you have. Do you have fives? Yeah, I do have five. Yeah, I'll say twenty of them. That's cool here, Potter Hat. I need some change over here, though. Get Look at that shell, too. The shell's nice. Yeah, so these are two for five. That one's ten. Okay. Or, yeah, for sure. I think awesome. it's a stadium giveaway because it's got the Bud Light logo on the back. That'd be my guess. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah. Yeah. Three, yeah. Three, three, two, four. All right, 25 bucks. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'll leave your hanger with you. So you're getting the two shells, the Orlando Magic, and the Harry Potter so far. Okay, you said two for five? Two for five. So you got five. Ten, this one's 15. ten. So that's fifteen. That one's ten. Two 17, for this one. Seventeen. Okay. 18, okay. 19, 20, 21. We'll call it twenty. Call it twenty. Okay. I can swing that. There you go. Thank Beautiful. you so much. Thank you. Yep. Appreciate it. So a fairly successful trip to a new flea market for us. We spent a total of $151 today, and I think we got a lot of really good stuff. Some like 
basic items, you know, nothing too crazy, but for $151, I feel like it was pretty solid. So this is going to be part of our $20 house flip budget. So at the end of the last episode, we left off with this amount of money. We had to take out the 151 we spent in today's episode, but we also have sold several things since then. So we did a little pop-up whatnot show yesterday morning. It was a Saturday and we did it at like 10 o'clock in the morning, which in hindsight wasn't great. I feel like Saturdays, people are just kind of out and about doing other stuff, not really interested and buying things. A couple things did okay, but overall it was a pretty low show. We sold a total of 26 items, just to give you some examples. The Tignanello bag from our very last upload in the Florida thrift stores, we got it at the bins. That sold for $3, so not great there. The Fox plush, the Harry Potter Fox plush, that sold for 17, so that was pretty good. We paid nine, and I was expecting it to sell between 15 and 20, so not bad. The Toy Story mug, we got, got two of these, I think for $6.99, and one of them sold for $8 plus shipping, so basically all of our money back, and then whatever this one sells will be pure profit. And then the like the Aladdin hoodie that Haley got, I think we paid $12.99 for that, and that sold for $11. So all in all, not a great whatnot show, but just goes to show not everything will sell whatnot is like inflated prices. Sometimes people get crazy good deals, so be sure to follow us on whatnot. Altogether, 26 items, we made $160.60 after these, so adding that to the budget. We've also sold several items in our booth over the last week and a half that were part of the budget as well. The two hubcaps that we found at the Goodwill Bins two or three videos ago, those sold for $25 each. So I don't know if it was one person or two different people, but both of those sold yesterday, actually, $50 there. The little camper, little it's like a metal, like decorative little camper thing you put on the table, that sold for $8. We sold a cactus face that we've had in there for about two months for $10. And then the Ann Klein purse, I think was from the Goodwill Ben's trip two, three, four videos ago. Uh, that sold for $15. Total booth sales were $83, leaving us with $74.70 after fees. Uh, and we also sold something direct to a viewer, the Shell Aviation hat from our last uh, YouTube video in Florida. That sold for $15 plus shipping to Paisley. Paisley, thank you so much for that. So we've already added the 16060 to the budget from Whatnot, but after we add the booth sales after fees and the direct to viewer sale to Paisley, we have a new budget of whatever, whatever that says. The good part about our trip to Florida is that we were able to buy a ton of stuff. Like I said in the last video, we've actually filmed four videos. So this is video number two. We have two more flea market videos to show you guys from Florida. We came back with a ton of stuff, but we still had a lot of stuff left over from previous episodes of the House Flip Budget. Like all those plush we got out of that guy's trunk a couple videos ago. We've got two Goodwill Bin strips worth of stuff. We haven't sold any of that yet. So there's a lot of potential profit in unsold inventory at this time, which I guess is a good problem to have, but uh, I'm getting slightly overwhelmed with the amount of stuff we have. So we're gonna have to do some more whatnot shows, maybe even list a couple things on eBay. Ugh, I, hate, <laughs> I hate the sound of that, but like this golf bag from uh, a pre, you know, the last episode, I'm definitely going to put that on our eBay store today. If anybody's interested in that, that'll be listed. A couple other like really particular things. We have uh, this set of golf clubs that we got at the bins like a month ago. The ones without any grips, they've just been sitting on the shelf forever. I really need to get those listed, maybe even look at regripping them to increase the value a little bit, but just stuff like that with stuff we've got to do to get some of this stuff moving. Again, a huge thank you to Harry's Razors for sponsoring today's video. Again, this deal is strictly at Costco only. We don't have a link or anything to share with you guys to purchase online, but next time you're at Costco, definitely go pick one up. And if you don't have a Costco membership and you have a Costco near you, I would definitely get a membership. I mean, all that stuff today, I think you'll easily save more money than the membership cost. It's like 60 bucks a year or something like that. So definitely worth it. And again, we love Harry's products. We would love to keep working with them in the future. So if you guys would go there and pick one of these up, it's a great deal, helps support the channel and we'd really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. You're the best and we'll catch you on the next one. Whew.